Thanks for that, Tim Du. Now, legendary artist Kefa Semenya is turning 80 this year. And celebrating the milestone, the legend and his wife, Mamle Dambulu, will be staging a music extravaganza to raise funds for a school in Soweto they've been building. Well, Lebo Siracha caught up uh, with Mamle Dambulu to tell us more about the National Academy of Africa's Performing Arts. Let's take a look at this. Mamaleta, welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Where are we? What is the space that we're sitting in? Why are we here? Well, this is a school that we built. Mm -hmm. And it's called the Academy of the African Performing Arts. Okay. It's, a been, it's been a dream for a very long time. Before we even came back home, uh, we realized uh, that our kids... They, they're very good, very creative, mm -hmm. but they lack something mm -hmm. uh, which we all lacked. We realized we lacked when we went into the United States because we realized the artists in America were a notch higher than us because they had technique, which we didn't have. So this is what we want to do with the school. We want our kids to have the technique that they need and deserve. So how far are we? We are in this building. It's not done. Where are we uh, building-wise and structure-wise? Where are we? Well, the shell is on, you know, as you can see, it's done. What we need now is um, uh, finishing inside and furniture. Because what we plan to have, as you said, we need to have a, a studio, recording studio, because these artists must be able to record their own yes. music. Yes. And we also have to have a room because another thing that we want to do is to revitalize instruments, traditional instruments. Mm -hmm. Not only play them, but be able to rebuild them. Okay. That's what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Because one day we would like to start a, 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 an orchestra with nothing but traditional instruments. Okay. It can be done. Yes. We have seen it in other countries. <laughs> okay. So these are the dreams. Mm -hmm. And, and we are going to make sure that they come true. I, I'm interested in the teachers, you know. Um, how do you then source the teachers? Because you and I will have a conversation about how this is a, and people who may not know, this is a sort of a funda center. We, yes. we grew up around a funda center. So we looked yes. up to a funda center. So you're then essentially then creating another fund, funda center on another level that obviously develops. Absolutely. Yes. yes. So the teachers, how do you then source the teachers? Well, we uh, were leaving by, I think, the end of September. Mm -hmm. And we've been talking with the embassy of Cuba mm -hmm. to source our teachers. And the reason why we're going to Cuba is that 1979, I was in Cuba. And I, lo I went to the Academy of the Performing Arts and I was blown away. Because I realized that, you know, now I see why Cubans are so formidable artistically. Uh, because they, they think, whatever they think, they produce. Right. You know, they don't deal with what's happening around the world. They deal with self. And they are, they are incredible in that way. You know, and everybody focuses on the United States. But Cuba, they hit notes that I'm telling you, you ask yourself, how did you do that? So we want that kind of technique for our kids. You're raising funds for, uh, for the school. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we are raising funds, as you say, for the school. Uh, what happened is that Kaifas came to me and said, you know, I'm turning 80. And I said, oh, hooray. <laughs> That's wonderful. And then uh, I said, okay, we'll celebrate your birthday. We'll do this. But then something hit me. I said, you know what? You know, everybody turns 80. We have a lot of people who turn 80. But what do we do mm. with your birthday? You know, what can we do to make it special? Mm. And, and I said, you know what? Let's raise funds for the school because that's your passion. Mm. You know, and this is the dream that we want to see finished. And then he said, yeah, why don't you do that? Mm -hmm. Why Soweto? Soweto? Why here? This is the hub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hub. Yeah. You know, um, the reason, really, let me give you a proper reason. The reason for the school here is that there's a theater here. Yes. When we graduate our kids, we want them to go to that theater to prove to the audience yeah. that we have arrived you know and we also have the the amphitheater mm -hmm. this is where the dancers are going to utilize right. the space mm -hmm. because we as i said earlier we want to create a ballet mm -hmm. 
and the ballet is going to be all the dances of South Africa yes. and we're going to incorporate uh, a lot of stuff from uh, uh, Rwanda dances from um, Ethiopia uh, because they are very different we are the same yes. but we are different yes. so I, I, we can't end sorry end this conversation without talking about Ndati Kaifasi and how he's turning 80 years old it's the 19th of August isn't it yeah. the 19th of August this journey you've traveled with him um, with him for so long and what do you most grateful about when you look back at it to say you know what i've been for 54 years and here we are today and here's this vision that we had so many years ago we're building a school it's finally coming together what are the most one of the many things that you're grateful for about this journey with him ah there's so many things that i'm grateful for but i think one that comes to mind is the fact that we had the same dream mm -hmm. about our children. Um, it's been a passion of ours because we, were, we know what we went through. Yeah. And we, didn't know, we don't want our children to go through that. And I'm very grateful because when we looked at each other, mm -hmm. we realized that th this dream was for both of us. Yeah. And we want to make sure that it comes through. Mm -hmm. So I'm really grateful for many things, as I said. Mm -hmm that uh, um, we went on a journey, yeah. you know, for. Um, but my dream and his dream for creating this yeah. is the ultimate.